In this video, we are going to extend our material master. In a previous video, you may have worked with me to create a material master, which you then purchased from a vendor and placed in your warehouse and in your storage location. So now we want to turn around and sell this same material. But before we can do that, we have to add some details to the material master that enable us to sell it and tell us how tell the system how to process the transaction as we sell it. So that's what we're going to do now. To get started, we're going to go back to our materials master. So if we go into logistics, materials management, material master, material, create special MMH1. So this is the exact same transaction we went in before. What we're going to do now is add some new views to the transaction and put some information in them. So MMH1, and we'll use our material that we have used in the past. I've been using Glove 27. You want to make sure that you use the material that's appropriate for you, your company, or your project. Industry sector, retail. And now we're going to select views. And this time we are going to select the sales org view data one and data two. And then we're going to go to the sales general plan data. Now we already have data in basic data one, purchasing, general plan data storage one, and accounting one from when we created the material for our purchasing process. So now we're just adding these three views in the create. Okay, so now I can press enter or click the little check mark. I also have to update with my plant and my sales org and my distribution channel. So my plant's going to still be Miami 27 for me. Again, it'll be whatever your plant number is. Sales org, for our particular uh, case, SAP instance, it begins with UE. So I will choose UE with my number. And you can see it goes and populates the distribution channel for me wholesale. And that's what we want. You can always double check that. All right, so wholesale. And oops, I let it uh, go to one of the other UEs when I clicked on that, so I'll fix that. UE 27, wholesale. And you'll put in your appropriate values here. Now I can click my check mark and start working on this. So in the sales org data, I'm going to have some general information here. You can see it pulls in the basic information that's already there. I need to specify what division the these sales belong to. So we're going to call this accessories. So they're certainly not bikes, they're bike accessories. These are gloves or whatever it is you happen to be selling. And then which plant will be delivering the good. So we want to click on that. And I'll use my Miami plant to deliver. Now continuing down, we've got some tax data fields that we want to fill in. And this particular field gets squeezed real tiny. But you can see it's class tax classification. And I've got county, city, other tax jurisdiction codes that I can use. I'm just going to enter a zero in all three of those and continue from there. Now that I've got this information filled in, I can click on conditions. So this is back up in the general data section of the screen. So I click on conditions and you can see on the conditions field, I've got uh, some validity and control information. What I want to do now is key in the sales amount that I want to sell these for. So you will want to sell your product for whatever your particular price is. I'm going to sell mine for $95. 
and that's each. So 95, and I could, you know, go down and just verify and 95 stays in there. And I'm good to go here. So I could click back, and depending on your UI, back may be a little green button right up around here. So now I click back, and I could go to Sales Org 2. I can also do that just by pressing Enter. It'll take me, first it checks to make sure I have all the required fields filled in. Then it moves me ahead to the next selected view that I have um, selected when I first got in here. So that's Sales, Sales Org 2. And in this case, I want to fill in my material statistics group. So what are the values I have here? Well, I've got a material group two, uh, some billing doc, cancel the billing doc. So here I'm just going to call it a material group, the a material group. That's statistics group one. So SAP can gather a bunch of st statistics that you want to keep track of. And these can go into non-financial accounts or non-financial reporting metrics that you want to keep track of. So that's all I need in this view. So I can press enter again. It takes me to sales general plant. And I want to tell it how to check for availability of this item. And I want it to use the individual requirements, individual availability. That's zero two. And then for me, my transportation group will be on pallets. And then the loading group is going to be with a hand cart. So it's important to be able to select the right items here for your particular item, plant, etc. because some plants, for example, may not have a hand uh, forklift or they may not have a pallet jack. So if you try and tell it you need a forklift to get this good from its storage location and your plant doesn't have one, you're going to be stuck. So here we've got the hand cart. We'll stick with that. And that gives us everything we need to know about this product to be able to sell it and deliver it to the customer. So at this point, I can click Save. And you'll see that my material glove was created. And in this case, it wasn't brand created brand new because it already existed. But those three new views that we needed for sales were created. So we have extended our material now let's go back to the main menu and see what we would like to do next.